Well, I'm Richard Esposito, and I'm the publisher of the Mountain Democrat. I'm also the COO of McNaughton Newspapers. We're a, a small family-owned uh, newspaper company. We own the newspapers in Placerville, Mountain Democrat, in Georgetown, in El Dorado Hills. We own the Karen Park Life. We also own the paper in, uh, in Fairfield, the Daily Republic. We own the newspaper in Davis, the, the Enterprise. Uh, we own the Winters Express. So we have uh, seven, seven newspapers. What we have is the, uh, the Mountain Democrat Morgue. Uh, this is where we keep all of our, our files from years, years past, all of our papers from years past. We actually have editions here, uh, for example, from 1865. These are the actual newspapers that we have uh, saved. This issue is from January 7th, 1865, and you can see back then the uh, newspaper was only uh, four pages, so it's obviously it's changed over the years. And the reason why we keep these under lock and key now is over the years, people would cut articles out and actually uh, take with them articles out of the paper. And you can see we had issues where we've had to tape them back together again, and they were damaged. You know, the Mont Democrat was, was started in 1851. We were actually located in Coloma. Uh, we were at the, uh, the El Dorado News at that point. Uh, shortly within the same year, uh, it was bought by another gentleman, and he renamed it the El Dorado Republican. And in 1854, on February 25th, our first edition of the Mount Democrat was, was published. Uh, the paper was bought again at that, in that year and we've been publishing as the Mount Democrats since 1854. We are the oldest newspaper in California, the oldest continuously published newspaper in California, because when they bought the files uh, in 1854, uh, the El Dorado News and Republican came with it. We actually have some additions here in our bound files with those newspapers. Um, we've uh, we're located downtown Placerville for many years. Uh, we moved into this building four years ago from, from downtown uh, because we outgrew our space. Over the years, as the newspaper grew, we needed more space, more employees, and so we had to obviously move our locations uh, until four years ago when we found this one here. So that's our, hi our history. Uh, we, during the Civil War, uh, we were pro-Confederacy and uh, Abraham Lincoln actually was upset with us and turned off the wire service for several months because we were pro-Confederacy at that time. Uh, of course, over the years, our, our views have changed and so on, uh, just like any other newspaper here in, in California. If you think about it, uh, the Union in Grass Valley uh, was, was started in 1865, uh, and it's called the Union for a reason. Uh, the Sacramento Union, the same thing. Uh, we also we own the newspaper in Fairfield, the Daily Republic, which is a very conservative paper in a military market with Travis Air Force Base. Uh, so each each newspaper has their own history. Uh, we over the years have evolved to what we are today. Be short enough. But 1864 is the oldest newspaper I have with the uh, in, in a bound file like this. All these others are 1900s here, 1933. 1981 up here. These are all in date order, so they're starting from the uh, newspapers, the oldest to the most current. This is May 28, 1864, and if you notice on this page, there are no photographs because they had no photograph technology then. They're all black and white, obviously, and we actually have classified ads on the column on the front, on the front page. And you move back in, and of course, more content, ads, and ads. So they're pretty, very informative, but yet uh, not very stylish. As time moved on, uh, and newspapers progressed, and technology changed, um, so did the paper. And here you got an issue from April 9th, 1892. And if you notice, now we've got some line illustrations of people and here's a here's a casket or a hearse 
and look at all the ads on page one now. They really changed uh, their their thinking of, uh, of where they place ads, uh, advertising. So the paper just keeps changing. They have more illustrations introduced. I think the ads got bigger. <laughs> Still quite, quite gray, uh, just black and white. Been, here's an issue from May 28th. Again, if you notice all the ads on page one, um, here you get beer for five cents at, uh, at Bird's Place. So, it's, and of course, we use an ad for the Carry House, which we still are, have here today. So, there are lots of these, uh, not to say a lot of these businesses, but some of these businesses that advertising back then are still in Plasville today. Carry House. Um, Plasville Hardware. You can see that the paper is very delicate. We try to keep them preserved. And you can see uh, through the years you'll see uh, illustrations now are part of the paper. And as we keep going forward you'll see that even the advertisements have changed. Uh, they get illustrations and, and the paper has evolved over the years. This is 1901. An issue from 1942. So you can start seeing the progression again of the paper. Because now we have photographs in the paper. This is the issue from January 1st, 1942. Here's an ad for Rayleigh's. There's wine for a dollar nine a gallon. <laughs> so, and here we have a, a wire article from the United Press War News Map at 1942. As you know, this, this is during the time of World War II. So we had news from the front, news from uh, the battle lines, so to speak. And if you notice, in February, on this page, the headlines started to appear. They were bolder and, and uh, more, uh, more pronounced. We actually had headlines in the paper where, if you remember back in the earlier editions, we did, you, you'd know. So the paper changed. And so did our, 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 our masthead. It changed as well. We were still the Mountain Democrat. But we had illustrations here. In this case, we had a stagecoach and a Pony Express rider, of course, the mines. So we kind of changed our, our banner, so to speak, over time. But now we've got photographs. Because the photograph technology was being developed, and as it did, newspapers adapted to it as well. Give you even more of a, of a change. In 1973, oh, the ads were even bigger. Lettuce now was 29 cents ahead, as opposed to 3 cents ahead back in 1892. <laughs> the uh, photographs are still black and white. We've got lots of photographs now appearing in the paper because photo technology had taken off. Here again, now you see lots of photographs. And if you notice, there's more pages too to the paper. Where instead of four pages back in 1860s, 70s, and 90s, it was now, now it's, the paper is growing. Uh, again, if you notice, the banners changed a little bit now. They still got the mine shaft there, but gone is the Pony Express and the, uh, uh, the stage coach. So again, we're evolving as a newspaper, changing the, not our name, but how we craft our paper. Lots of ads. Lots of pages. We have an opinion page now. Here's another page one. It's just 
they, they're back with the illustrations again, but look how small the headline is, the, the banner is now. To 1987. Now we've got color. We've got spot color in the paper. And let's see if we can find some issues with more. Now. So now we are able to run color. There's a the flag, obviously. So this is uh, 18. Oh, sorry, this is 1987. We had we ran spot color, which was you know, green, red, blue, the primary colors in the paper. So you see it's evolved even more. The photographs are getting better, more crisp, and uh, we have, actually have color now in the paper. Later in the, uh, in the 90s, we had process color, which provided full color photographs, as you see in today's paper, where the colors actually are full color, like you see anywhere else, like on TV and so on. When digital photography was created not very long ago, overnight, newspapers eliminated all their dark rooms and their photography. We used, to, we used to take our own photographs, develop our own film, make our own prints, and then convert that over to uh, a process where it was put in the newspaper. Overnight, with digital technology and cameras, uh, we eliminated all of our dark rooms, all of our chemistry, all of our dark, dark room uh, needs, and we are now digital. So we saved a lot of money. The process improved so much better over, over time that there's no more need for large cameras or the, the, uh, the, the dark room chemistries that we used to do for developing. So uh, that was just one technology step that really helped our industry. Uh, let's go to 90, 92, 1992. I'm stacking these books up a little bit. Now we've got Process color, as I just uh, mentioned. So we're able to run process color, which is full color technology, and we've got spot color, which is just just red in this case. And again, paper is evolving even more. We've got a sports section. We've got opinion. So it's really, uh, it's changed, again, we just keep transitioning, we've got our puzzles in here, our classified pages are now more, or they're more organized, uh, easier to, to follow, easier to find merchandise and so on. We stopped using the books in the 1990s, we've moved over to uh, microfilm. And that's within these boxes over here, we have microfilm, uh, we used to have a microfilm reader. So you can actually pull this, the, the film out and, and, and read it on a, on a machine and print an article from that. Uh, so we've gone from the books to the microfilm and now we're on, we're, we're digital. So we have here, this is a type case set. Uh, this, and before we went to uh, the printing we use today, we had lettered print letters, wood, wood type like this, and they would set that in the press, and they were all different fonts, different sizes. You would use, obviously, a larger letter for a bigger headline, like War Over, or whatever the crime, you know, Kennedy assassinated, we use a, a, a larger letter like this. We keep these under lock and key, too because obviously over the years people will come through and they will take letters for souvenir pieces or anything like that. So we do keep this room uh, secure so that uh, we can preserve this. This is our history, so we want to make sure we preserve it. Uh, paper widths, if you think about it, you see movies, old movies with their papers are this wide and they got to lay down this on the floor. Well, the web widths has, have continually decreased Primarily because we're trying to save money, newsprint costs go up, newspapers convert their presses down, and they shrink the, the, pa the paper down, so they're using less newsprint.
And that's why if you notice today how narrow the paper is today compared to what you see on TV back in the 1920s and 30s and 40s. We've, we've narrowed the web width down. Same thing as I said with photography that's changed over the years. Technology, like anything else, any other industry, has changed and uh, remodeled how our newspaper, our, our industry has evolved. So, and you can see that through the earlier days uh, in when the type was very small, very gray, no photographs. And then as you move through the years, you've got line drawings, you've got photographs now. Color was being introduced because technology changed. We were able to adapt to that. The big mover on that was uh, Gannett with the USA Today. When they came out with their newspaper and it was all full color throughout the whole paper, the technology was there and that kind of nudged other newspapers to do the same thing. You have to keep up with the times, keep up with your competitors, and you've got to introduce this new, te te this new technology to keep your readers and keep your, your advertisers engaged. So we also uh, uh, generate ma magazines. I have the Adventures magazine. We've got uh, Yolo magazine that we put out in, uh, in Davis and uh, Discover Solano magazine in Fairfield. We also print uh, and uh, actually sell and produce the Tailwind, which is a Travis Air Force Base uh, weekly publication. We have a contract with the military to, to sell and produce that newspaper for the base. So we uh, have a multitude of other special products that we, uh, that we sell, that we publish and, and distribute here in the county. Uh, we're working on one right now called the Wine Destination, which is a, actually a pamphlet that we produce for the wineries here in Eldorado County and Amador County. So uh, we are more than just a newspaper these days. We are a special publication uh, publisher and uh, especially products publisher. Today we're being shaped by the internet. Uh, now with the internet and online web, uh, web uh, uh, websites, it's, it's changing how we do our business, how we present the news to our readers. We have a website. We've got the most, more traffic on our website probably than any other website in the county, uh, visit our website because they're after news online now as opposed to getting it in, in print in a hard copy. So keep evolving.